Hello, my mathematicians, and welcome to 4.3 Discounts, my favorite word when I'm going shopping. Today, our essential question is, how do I calculate a discount on an item? Go ahead and grab those needed supplies, that writing utensil, math notebook, growth mindset, and as always, some determination. We have two learning goals today. We want to be able to calculate the amount of a discount, and then we want to be able to calculate our new total after the discount. What are we actually going to pay for something? So discounts are a dollar amount subtracted from the original price. It is when something is on sale and you don't have to pay full price. It, like taxes and tips that we talked about in our last video, is a percentage of the sale price of the item that you are buying. We're diving right in today with our problems. You're going to see that these are very similar to tax and tip but they're the opposite. Because we're not paying more, we're going to pay less. So our first problem, Will is getting ready for a camping trip. He found a new sleeping bag. It cost $25, but good news, hello, it's on sale for 25% off. How much is the discount? How much is Will going to save? All right, step one is to change the percent to a decimal. So that is the same as when we found tax and tips. So we're going to take 25%, we're going to turn it into a decimal, which is 0 0.25. Step two is also the same. We're going to multiply that decimal, that 0 0.25, and the sell price. So 0 0.25 times 25. That answer is $6.25. So his discount is $6.25. That's it. That's the same as sales tax and tip. Nothing has changed. Okay. But here's where it gets a little bit different. All right, so Mario needs a new pair of binoculars for his upcoming camping trip. They are $59, but they are on sale for 10% off. How much will Mario pay for the new binoculars? This is where it gets a little bit different than when we find sales tax and tip. Step one stays the same. We're going to change our percent to a decimal. So 10% as a decimal is 0 0.1. Then we are going to multiply that decimal and the sale price. This part hasn't changed either, so 0 0.1 times 59. Now step three is where it gets a little bit different. Sales tax and tips are things that you pay in addition, so we add those. Discounts are being on sale. It's we're going to pay less, so instead of adding, we are going to subtract that discount that we just got in step two from the original price. So $59 minus $5.90 means that Mario is paying $53.10 for the binoculars. Just like with sales tax and tip, there's a second strategy. I'm going to go ahead and show you that one, and then you can pick the strategy that you like best that makes the most sense to you. So exact same problem, but we're going to talk about a different strategy. He's buying these binoculars. They're $59, but they're 10% off. Step one is to subtract the discount from 100%. When we did sales tax and tip, we talked about how they're going to pay 100% of that original cost plus whatever percentage the tax or the tip is. In this case, they're not actually paying 100% of the cost because it's on sale. So they're not paying 100%, but they're paying 100% minus the 10% discount. So we're going to subtract. 100 minus 10 is 90%. That's what we're actually going to pay. Step two then is the same. We're going to take that percentage and turn it into a decimal. So 90% as a decimal is 0 0.9. And then step three, same as before, we're going to take that decimal and multiply it by the original price. So 0 0.9 times 59, as we just saw in the last example of this problem, Mario is paying $53.10 for the binoculars. That mathematician it's 4.3 discounts. You should now be able to answer your essential question, how do I calculate a discount on an item? Going to go ahead and give that shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Wright Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.